when you look at the pathology of MS, basically you see damage in the myelin sheath because of some inflammation. And this essentially causes demyelination. The inflammation itself consists of particular types of lymphocytes or cells. Mm -hmm. They're T lymphocytes. Um, and there's this particular class of T lymphocytes called the CD8 T cells. Yeah, I mean, the immune system has, and we're simplifying it, but two pathways, the humoral and the cellular uh, humor, uh, uh, immune system. The humoral is the antibodies, the IgG, IgM, Ig, uh, IgA, IgE, which is the, uh, and then you have the uh, cellular, which is the T cells, T8, T4, um, um, you know, the, the macroglobulins. And, uh, cells. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, the the cellular component has particular function and in this case it's actually the one that's attacking the cells exactly so um so so they're essentially cd8 t cells but you also get to see some b cells and plasma cells but mm -hmm. not much they're much lower in numbers and that's that's the reason why there is just this immense inflammation or inflammatory reaction in active ms plaques um Initially, the axons are not damaged. The axons are stayed, you know, they're preserved earlier in the stages of the disease. But when the disease progresses, even the axons are damaged irreversibly, mm -hmm. irrever irreversibly. And that's when you actually see shrinkage of the brain. And sclerosis and scarring. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 